Megalopolis has dropped its new trailer, guys. It's a first official trailer. Uh, let's check it out. From Francis Ford Coppola. Adam Driver. About an architect. When does an empire die? Does it collapse in one terrible moment? Yeah, tragedy. No. no. But there comes a time when its people no longer believe. Lawrence Fishburne. Don't let the now. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Destroy the forever. And he's got powers, right? Because the teaser showed us that he can. He can stop time. Very new vol, right? Is this society postmodernistic? Um, is this way we're living? The only one that's available. To <laughs> There's Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> Create. He's an architect, and he wants to rebuild the city. We are taking our city back. And when we ask these questions, when there's a dialogue about them, looks epic. That basically is a utopia. From Francis Ford Coppola, Megalopolis, the movie that that they say is unmarketable, but it seems to be. I thought that was fairly effective. What do you guys think about that? Uh, let's see if I can go back to that shot of Shia LaBeouf. So it looks like they're looking at some kind of uh, concert or performance uh, here. And I think maybe, I think that's why uh, Shia LaBeouf's part of that. That's why he's dressed up like that. Uh, it looks like there's some romance in here as well. There's Dustin Hoffman. That's cool. Yeah. And of all Welcome. Yeah, there, there's Shia right there. He must, uh, either he's like, you know how people go to shows and they get like dressed up like uh, the performers and stuff, like almost like cosplay. It looks like maybe he's like that a little bit. Um, very interesting stuff. Like there seems to be some technology going on there. Uh, holographic technology, right? Um, like it looks grand in scope. So is that Shia there too? I don't know who that is. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. I like the aesthetic. I do. Like this arena. Awesome. Um, I like the portrayal of the uh, city blowing up. Or getting hit by meteorites, it looks like. I don't know who this actress is. Wait a minute. And there's John Giancarlo Esposito. Was that Hunter Schaefer? Is that who that was? Yeah, who's this guy? Who's this? Let's go over to the IMDb. And then we'll take a look at the comments here. Uh, an architect wants to rebuild New York City as a utopia following a devastating disaster. I, I'm digging this, man. I'm digging this. Okay, Natalie Emmanuel, Adam Driver, Aubrey Plaza. Do we see Aubrey Plaza? She's one of my favorites. James Remar, Dustin Hoffman, John Voigt. We heard it was Fishburne narrating in the beginning, right? Jason Schwartzman. Oh, no, okay, so that must be Chloe Feynman that we see. So then who is that? Who is this? I don't recognize them, but they seem to be kind of a boss, and why do they have kids? Weird. I don't know who that is. Uh, it's not D.B. Sweeney. Must be nobody that's on this list, but it is an interesting look, man. Jason Schwartzman's in this. Um, I'm digging it. Yeah, there's James Remar right there. Did we see him in the trailer? He looks like somebody who works with Driver uh, to help with his architect, uh, architectural stuff. And I don't know what's going on with this big statue either, man. Uh, so, it, like... We've seen that either he's hallucinating these things or he does have special powers to animate things and stop time and stuff. Because we've seen in the first teaser when he's looking out over the city and he says stop and like the traffic all stops kind of thing. So I don't know if he's doing that because uh, maybe he's just envisioning uh, pieces uh, in his head, like um, architectural wise kind of thing. Like... Um, but, okay, we now know the tragedy that's going to happen. Meteorites hit. 
And uh, that's probably the opening of the movie. Let's go down and take a look at some of the comments. Looks to be his most ambitious film since Apocalypse Now. Definitely going to support it at the cinema. Really? Um, you're just going to jump over all of uh, <laughs> The Godfather? Uh, Godfather was hugely ambitious. <laughs> if you want, I, I know that Apocalypse Now was ambitious too. Like he really put his health on the line to make that movie. But when you watch the behind the scenes stuff of uh, Godfather, and he's got like these big Bibles of stuff that he's researched and put into all of it, I would probably say that's got to contend as well. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a valid opinion. And I don't care about the greedy studio head say this looks amazing. Can't wait for it. Yeah, the marketing, the the studios all turned their backs on this. They said no. This movie is not going to work. We don't want to have any part of it because people just don't want to go out and see this. And it's like, you look at these visuals and it's like, who doesn't want to see this? I know it's going to be a little bit weird. We know that it's going to be a little bit artsy-fartsy. We know that maybe, perhaps, it's going to be a little bit too artsy-fartsy. Oh, is that James Riemann right there? Um, for some people, a little too art house. But that's fine. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, the cast shines for me. Megalopolis, what else are people saying? Uh, this looks like a visual wonder. If we don't support film, Mr. Coppola will have sold his vineyard in vain. I'm beyond excited. Yeah, so it's, a lot of people are coming out to support this, and that's good. That's what we need to do when movies like Fall Guy come out, and they're awesome, and people are just like, meh, meh, meh. Then we'll go out to see it, and it's like, well, that's why we don't get like original movies anymore. That's why we get things like... Uh, Captain Marvel 6 and stuff like that and Ant-Man 4 and it's like uh, uh, yeah because we got to go out and support these movies man definitely something we'll remember for decades to come thank you Mr. Coppola Adam Driver and Shia LaBeouf characters seem to be the protagonist and antagonist if that's the case we're about to witness fireworks between the two great actors well I think they're they're also confusing that that henchman guy uh, behind the desk as uh as Shia, but it's not like this guy. This is not Shia. That, I don't know who that is. Um, that's obviously the love interest, right? I, I don't know who this is with the with the mark. That's not Shia, right? Because Shia seems to be involved with the the play or whatever that's going on in there. Oh, there's some blood. Wow. Yeah, there's there's Shia. He doesn't have the mark on him. He's just. He seems like he's. Uh, part of the society of the upper echelons of society that's kind of like carefree and does whatever they want kind of thing right the cloud grabbing the moon is so trippy 40 years in the making that's dedication thank you for persevering the art of cinema so people are digging it man people are digging it uh what did you guys think about the trailer for uh, megalopolis uh did it get you excited did it make you go, I want to check this out from Francis Ford Coppola? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we will talk about it. You're watching Mirror Domains. Yeah, so I dug that. That was refreshing. Let's take off all of the graphics teams and get back into some movie news headlines. Yeah, I don't expect anybody in the chat today because I'm on much earlier than normal. I gotta work late tonight too, until like 9 p.m. Hi, yeah. I usually don't, but uh, you know, every once in a while you gotta 